French hotel Iracor predicts that its hospitality business in the Asia-Pacific region will take longer to recover than other parts of the world as China has not reopened its borders. But despite the setback, the company is upbeat about the recovery of the hotel sector in the region and predicts that its profitability will be better than before the pandemic. Many countries in Asia can be still 50% lower, in profitability, than pre-pandemic, Accor CEO Sebastian Bazan says in A. It's probably six months late cycle recovery compared to the Western world. The Asia-Pacific region is important to Accor. As of October, the group has 378 hotels, such as Raffles Hotels in Singapore and Sofitel Legend Metropoli Hanoi in Vietnam, with 86, 844 rooms across Southeast Asia, Japan, and South Korea. In the region, Indonesia has the largest number of hotels for Accor, with 133 hotels, followed by Thailand and Vietnam, with 87 hotels and 38 hotels, respectively. There are 140 hotels in the pipeline with almost 32,000 rooms, including notable projects such as Pullman Singapore Orchard, Admiral Hotel Manilam Gallery and Tribe Phnom Penh Riverside. I see the business being back in Singapore, while Thailand and Cambodia will be open by the end of November. So there is some good hope in front of me. To accelerate the recovery in Asia, Accor is focusing on domestic tourists to offset the lack of international tourists and maximizing non-room revenues, such as from restaurants and meeting rooms to accommodate the trend of remote working. To maximize the potential, Bazan has eliminated layers in the decision-making process. Currently, 90% of the decision that he made before are no longer his, as they are given to the local executives. What I learned during the crisis is you have to decentralize as much as you can, he says. The COVID-19 pandemic has hit the company hard with 2020 revenue per available room, Revpar, down by 62% to €24, Euros, $27, from the previous year.